Hello and welcome to this webinar. Today we are going to show you the functionality of contracting in Travel One. As you can see, we are in SAP Business One environment. If we go through the menu of SAP Business One, we can see all the relevant details that are coming from Travel One. Specifically for contracts, we have many types of contracts such as guide contracts, restaurant contracts, theater contracts, museum contracts, or hotel contracts. If we open here a hotel contract, we can see all the relevant details such as the validity time of the contract, the name of the hotel, the name of the supplier, the minimum turnover, that is the amount that we are expecting to receive from the bookings of this hotel, the contract status, if it is valid or not, the relevant contract, that means that we can have the path of the signed contract with the hotel, the contract type, if it is an allotment contract, guarantee contract, or a request contract. We can also have the price type, if it is per person or per room. Cancellation policies, that we can have a free text about the cancellation. For which customer market the contract is valid. Moreover, we can have details about on behalf of company and the quoter. If we go on the lines, we can see that we can have multiple tabs, such as the hotel rooms. On the hotel rooms, we can see all the rooms that are including in this contract. For example, we have standard room or a superior room. We also can see the type of the room, if it is single, double, triple, etc. Moreover, we can see if we can have allotment for the specific room the minimum capacity, the maximum capacity, max adults capacity, and max child capacity. Here, if we go further, we can see the hotel season. So we have the season from date and season to date, the season category, if we have allotment per season, and how many days is the release days. Moreover, we can see the ages for uh, this contract. For example, we have from as age 0 to 2, age category 0 to 2, age group A. That could be an age category that we can have a reduction for. Then we can go through the hotel allotment tab that we can see how per allotment group how many days we have per season. Then we can go through the hotel supplement tab where we can see the supplement information such as, for example, an info drink, supplement percentage, supplement price, season category, how we calculate the supplement per person or per room, and also we have details for deduction percentage, reduction amount, and the room type as well. Then we can go through the hotel prices tab where we can see the prices that we have per room, per season, for single, double, triple, or quadruple room, how we calculate the prices per, per person or per room, the boarding basis, and also we have here the dates because we may have one hotel that is calculating different price for weekends. Moreover, we can go to the hotel early birds where we can see the discount percentage or discount value for the booking dates from and to, the stay days from and to, minimum stay, if it is a consecutive, yes or no, the payable percentage, the payable or the payable amount, and the payable date. Moreover, we can have hotel stay pay, for example, stay 7, pay 5, for this room type, the booking date from and to, consecutive, arrival dates from and to, and the price type. If we continue, we can see the hotel non-refundable tab, so we can see the day's payment before arrival, the discount value or discount percentage, if it is cancelable, yes or no, the room type and the season. Then we can go through the cancellation policies where we can see the cancellation date range, the room type, the cancellation percentage or the cancellation value and the days to pay. And on the last tab we can see the customer market for which customer market the contract is valid or non-valid. This concludes today's webinar for handling the contracting in Travel One. Thank you for watching this video.